So you have less than two weeks to get your ballot turned in for the midterm elections. For thousands of people here in Washington State who served time behind bars, this is the first time they're going to get to fill out a ballot. King 5's Julie Calhoun joins us live with a look at the impact of the new law. Julie. Joyce, good evening. The Department of Corrections says 13,000 more people will be able to cast their ballot for the first time this November, and that's going to impact more people year after year under this new law. We talked to one man who voted for the first time. I was actually incarcerated at the age of 17. Surreal Walrand spent 17 years incarcerated and released August 1st. The very next day to register to vote and to vote in the primaries, you know, really gave me a sense of connectivity within my community. Uh, where I realized that it's not about just talking and having all these different opinions, but really I'm making my voice and my vote count. Walrid worked for that day, even inside prison, working with organizations like the Voting Rights Restoration Coalition. We have an opportunity of making sure that our voices are heard and that we are doing the things that are necessary, you know, to make sure all of our lives you know, are being, you know, represented. You know, that's what true equity looks like. Under the new law that went into effect January of this year, it automatically restores voting rights to people who have been released from prison after committing felonies, even if they're on parole, meaning thousands will get the chance to vote for the first time. The shift is that we're moving away from the kind of forever labeling people that have past convictions and treating folks as outcasts for the rest of our lives or their lives to welcoming people home when they get released. Christopher Poulos with the Department of Corrections knows how that feels. He served three years in federal prison and says the ability to vote reduces recidivism. When people do really feel included, the chances are that they're going to act the same way and act positively in our communities. And a full circle moment for Walrent, helping others cast their ballot. Just feeling so empowered in that moment and just hoping that others who are also system impacted are able to feel empowered by the opportunity of voting as well. The Department of Corrections is also working to get the word out to make sure people know that they can vote. Walren is also working to get those who are currently in jail awaiting their trial registered to vote and has done so for 91 people in Pierce County Jail so far. For now, live in Tacoma, Julie Calhoun, King 5 News.